everyone. I didn't know you were going to be joining us today. Well, today I'm going to show you how to throw off the hump. And before we throw off the hump, I'm going to show you how to wedge a huge hunk of clay such as this. So the first thing that you do is you cut it off the huge block, and then you smash it on the ground. You're going to do that, or not on the ground, on the table. You're going to do that a few times. Then you're just going to grab it like this, like you would a normal one pound, two pound, of, two pounds of clay. And you're just going to push down with this. And you're going to do this a few times. And just like anything else, the reason why you wedge the clay is to get it, uh, to get the particles and moving in the same direction. So, and as I'm doing this, if you could zoom up, that is what your design should look like when you are wedging it. It should. Other people on YouTube have said it. It should look like a dog or a monkey face. So that that is how you correctly wedge the clay. Um, I've heard. I shop around on YouTube for different ideas and stuff like that. And some people said you should wedge it about 40 or 50 times. I do it about 20. And you wedge the clay too to get all the air bubbles out. Okay, so I'm almost done wedging my clay. And that should be good. Alright, so the clay is all wedged. And I it's pretty center on the wheel when I put it on there, so I don't have to do a whole lot. Um, actual like centering um, but one of the things that you want to do is get it generally pretty centered on the wheel it's not the most important thing that the whole entire hunk of uh, clay is centered but you, you still want it pretty centered so what I'm going to do now is just get it pretty centered on the wheel and you got to you got to use a lot of force if it's a, if it's like a one pound of clay it's not going to take a whole lot of force to get it centered, but when it's a huge hunk of clay like this, it's going to take a lot more force. I'm pushing a lot harder. I'm really digging my arm into my hip bone and just really, really pushing it. Um, so as you can see, as it spins, it's not very centered, but now all I have to worry about, since I'm throwing off the hump, all I have to worry about is this little top portion here, and that's what I'm going to make my small mug out of. All right, so all I'm going to do, I'm going to squeeze this up. All right, so I have this little, this little top portion, this little top of the triangle here, and all I'm going to do center this like I would a normal one pound piece of clay. It's not quite centered. I'm just working on this a little bit more. Okay, so that's pretty centered. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something called making the floor, and this acts as the base, so I know where to, um, you know, cut it off when I'm done. So I'm going to do, I'm going to spin it around, just dig my finger in there, right like that, and you see this little lip right here? If you can zoom up there, this is my floor. It's just nice and flat across. All right, so now I have, this is about one pound of clay here at the very top. So now I'm actually going to start throwing my little cylinder. Okay. So I have my cylinder. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to do the first lift now. Start at the floor, just, oh, got, got pretty wobbly, which is okay, okay, 
It's a little wobbly. It's all right. So that's after the first lift. All right, I'm going to do a second lift, and then I'm going to take it off. Okay. Um, I've seen some really cool strategies of how to take mugs off of the hump, but unfortunately I haven't been able to do them yet. So this is the best way that I've done so far. So remember the floor that we made um, a few steps earlier? All we're going to do is take our wire tool here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but you're just going to drag it across the floor that you made. Then, you're going to take a ton of water, spin it around, like that, so that water gets under there. Then, you're going to take a wire tool again. This is the hard part. And all that, all that juicy water gets in under there. Now it's starting to come off a little bit more. So because of that water, it doesn't suction to the, the floor that I created. It's, it's nice just like that. I'm just going to pick it up here and place it on there. Now this bottom doesn't look very good, but that's okay because you can go and trim it when it's leather hard. Okay, so I've already thrown that one cylinder. And one reason why we throw off the hump is it saves us a lot of time. And also throwing off the hump allows you to make uh, multiple objects um, that are about the same size. So um, this is the next um, little cylinder that I'm going to make. And uh, the same hunk of clay that I used for our first... For our first... Um, little cylinder that I showed you how to do. Okay, now I'm going to make my floor. Alright, so we've made our floor. Now, this one got a little bit wobbly. That's okay. I'm gonna continue to throw. Now just like the first one that I made, I'm not going to you know make it like it would normally would because this is a demo. So here's my first lift. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Alright, then I'm gonna lift up the walls for a second time. You know what, just for the heck of it, let's just lift it up a third time. Maybe even a fourth time. Okay, and so you can see there um, that I made this nice cylinder, and um, yeah, so that this allows um, you just make more more of the same thing in a less amount of time. And that's why a lot of people throw off the home. And I don't think it's any more difficult than throwing small amounts of clay um, in separate amounts. It's just a new technique that you have to get used to over time. So thanks for watching. I'm Dave Budish, and that's how you throw off the home.